Hey everyone, this is uh, Matrix here, chat room moderator of BRT. It's uh, September 12th and it's 11.30 a.m. I just want to make a quick uh, public video and a trade recap and a very key lesson that I learned today. And the stock we're focusing on is MU. So taking a look at MU here, so you scroll back a little bit. We have a pre-market sell-off. Basically, uh, Goldman Sachs came out with a downgrade this morning and the stock dumped after uh, pre-market and gap down. Okay, so this, this stock in itself was in play and we were watching it pre-market inside the room here. Um, we had resistance here pre-market watching the 42.22 and the 42 area. And I was calling out already pre-market. The plan was to... Uh, wait for a cover port pop and short it. So as we saw this coming down pre-market, and I'm going to zoom in here, I took three trades on it basically. Right out the gates at 9.30, at this first candle, I took it, it's already sold a lot, and I started on a starter size and took it short right away out the gates. Okay, and my idea was to risk uh, around the 42 mark, right? And uh, I took a starter size, and then as it comes up, it, I add it, add it, add it. And then I was looking at this uh, 4160s level as well. So here in pre market, I was looking at around this level 4160s, 4175s, right? So I kept adding up to here with my plan being if it broke over this mark the this little pre pre market high i would get out so i add 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 got into full size and this candle actually formed really interestingly because it popped up right out of gates and then made a very heavy wick down and then ran back up again and then sold off again and this is where it closed Right, so once I saw the wick coming down on it, I'm saying I'm 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 thinking to myself, okay, we've got selling pressure. I don't think this uh, candle holds, and this is why I added and I already had a plan. So next candle, this thing just washed, and I took it right off. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I started too early. This candle was really strong. And we are at the pre-market low. So I'm going to pay myself right now. And I took it off for a quick scalp. So that's my first trade. After that, uh, I was literally just watching it, right? Because uh, the overall plan was for a short and was for it to get back up to the 4220s, 42 area. So this is a resistance zone that we taught and uh, talked about a lot in uh, BRT trading course with uh, premium members. So a lot of our members know how to do this already. So this is a perfect rejection here in the zone. Uh, I didn't take this trade. I sat and watched it, right? Because the stock at this moment, it, it was very bullish and it held this VWAP, right? So I just sat and watched and I didn't take this either. So I watched some more as it came down and uh still watching still watching eventually i took it short at uh let me see eventually i took it short at this candle right here okay at the 1005 candle i'm thinking okay we have made lower highs from the high up days here from the resistance zone and here it rejected perfectly and here at the VWAP okay so I could have took it here but no I was still I was still a little hesitant I could have took it here and risk a little bit above but no I took it here instead and I was gonna risk the VWAP okay so I took the short here and we just wrote it down uh, in anticipation of this uh, of this uh, previous support level to snap so lo and behold it snaps it snaps and i wrote it down rolled it all the way back down and once we got to around the 41 area i covered up and then it snapped some more and just kept going down so that's my second trade third trade 
is uh, the 1030 area. Every day at 1030 uh, inside the chat room, we talk about the 1030 reversal time. So I was just watching this and finally it reversed. And I had this two areas marked off the 41, which is a key psycho psychological whole number where it snapped right here and retested. And then if we draw a horizontal line here at the 4110 area as well, you can see how support held here and here. So let's zoom out a little bit and also the opening low, right? So from 41 to 4110, this became a resistance zone for me once this snapped and we were watching for reversal play or I was watching for reversal play because it was 1030. So lo and behold, this thing pops right back through, came down and started chopping a little bit. I'm thinking to myself, okay, here we go. A, B, C, D long setup. I'll wait for the first higher low. And sure enough, this looked like a higher low to me. And I was still watching, still watching, still watching. I'm thinking, okay, higher low, let's take the long. And I took the long right here at 10.54 uh, a.m., risking uh, a little bit below this higher low. And uh, the stock just snapped through. I stopped out right around this area, and I got frustrated because I got in uh, a little bit too early, or uh, perhaps it didn't work out. So I just got frustrated, and I walked away. So took a loss there, walked away, regrouped. And when I came back, it was around this time, the stock has already shot up. Now what this is though, uh, my biggest mistake was uh, not waiting for this resistance zone to confirm a breakout, okay? And I took it too early. So if we take a look at this candle here at 10.54, right here, this is the candle where I took long. I'm like, okay, it's, uh, it's making mini higher lows and it's retesting and it popped right through the resistance zone. So I took it long right here and uh, in the next two minutes I stopped out. So my biggest mistake was I could have waited and waited for this to pop out hold and test this resistance zone to confirm the breakout, ran up again, and then it gave me another two candles to confirm. It's a buyer's and buyer's candle, look at the long bottoms wicks, and confirmed it. I should have took it here instead. And these were your perfect entries, okay? As long as it bases on this resistance zone, which is now support, it's a perfect long. And your target should be, or my target was to at least bring it back up to the VWAP or bring it back to the prior resistance zone. And look at the stock right now. Stock right now, shot right through. And this would have been a very, very good payday. So from the highs, 4170s, and uh, if I had taken an entry here on the dip, could have been a 60 cents gain. Right? I would have paid myself out a little bit here and then uh, let the rest ride. And then once this snapped through, I would have sold as well. So that's the lesson. I hope you guys learn from this. Um, it's my lesson for myself as well. Uh, not to be too antsy. You got to be a little bit more patient on this reversal ABCD long play. And uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you find this uh, video useful and you enjoy this because uh, in the future I will be making even more videos like this. So uh, have a great day, guys. Cheers.